Next goes the last Maimer. It's the last Maimer of the Hisophis of Tere'e. I'm not sure what this Maimer has to do with the Megillah. But it's a Pesach in Mishle. Regarding to the Tera. Rifus tihi l'sodecha. V'shikui l'atzmi secha. That the Tera heals your shorecha, your belly button, and strength to your bones. So we have to understand why would Tera be food or curing for your belly button? What does your belly button have to do with the food of Tera? So the Alter Rebbe says there's two ways of eating. There's the way we eat as human beings and then there's the way a baby eats. A person eats it's a whole to do. You have physical food and you have to chew it. And then it goes into the stomach and then you take out the good nutrients and the bad goes out into the waste and the good comes out into your blood. First, it goes into the purifying agent called the liver. The liver it goes more into the blood and the heart, and then it goes into the brain, and then it goes back into the heart and to all the limbs. So it's called achilochitzenius. Why is it called achilochitzenius? Because the food needs many biruti until it's fit to be a sustaining life force for the for the body. And also, first it comes in the mouth, in the mouth and the stomach. And from one vessel to another purifier, etc. There's a lot of negativity that you have to extract the good. Then there's something in a different way of eating called achilopnimiyis, that you go straight to the belly button. When a fetus is in his mother's stomach, he eats from what his mother eats and when he drinks what his mother drinks. And the belly button is open and the mouth is closed. And then when he's born, the belly button closes and the mouth opens. When his mouth is closed, it doesn't go through the mouth, it goes straight to the belly button. He eats everything what his mother eats. And he's, a fetus is part of his mother. And when it comes into his belly button, you don't have this physical food. Because first it comes into the mother's stomach. And then it goes into his belly button. That's refined food. And right away, it all goes into the right energies. Only good comes into the baby. No food. Even when he's born and he's a year old, he can't eat food. He only has milk. Because only the spiritual food, after it was refined, Goes into the belly button. This is how he grows for nine months while he's in the stomach. And this is, he, his brain grows and his mind grows and his heart grows from his mother's heart and mind. So everything that comes, comes from the belly button. And it's called Achille Pneumius. And it goes right away where it needs to go. What do we understand from this? That when the Zo is impregnant in the mother's stomach, which is Bina, so then it gets Achille Pneumius, and then he's just like Bina. That's called Yevul Yilo. He's on the level of Bina because he eats from her food. We say, Rifus Tehil Shodecho. May the Teda be such a level of Teda, a high level of Teda. Like we teach a fetus in his mother's stomach, the entire Teda. But once he's born, that's a different type of eating, like we eat. 
like it says about Teda, Lechu lachmu belachmi. Go eat my bread. Teda is called bread. And you have to elevate it. And you have to have the 32 teeth that bite it. And they grind it. And then it comes in the stomach. And then it says, V'osim dvari b'ficho. I put my words of Teda in the mouth and you don't say that it should be Difus Teva Sodech. That when do you say it should be curing to your belly button is the higher level of learning. The lower level of learning is V'osim dvari b'ficho. This is what it says. The shikui lats misecho. The bones come from the father, like it says, Eid Abba. The pnimi sachoch moses in teda, and it gives strength to the bones. From the yisaid hamayim shebemeya in the midas. So this is the two ways of eating. This is what the Gemara says. Chomim would say when they would drink, it should be wine and life to the mouth of the Rabbonah. What is Chamra? Chamra is wine. And this is a Masamea. Chaliki means it makes God happy. Sort of to say, Elikim is the Gvuras of Shem Elikim. And the wine, sweetness and severities of Shem Elikim, the Bina. And he, you eat the food that the Bina eats, it goes straight into Zoh. Because Nich Nisya'in Yotza said, Imisiman comes into the world to be good food for the person through the mouth. And this is what it says. That they should get even with their mouth, that they're on the lower level of eating, they should get that's the premise of Nicholas Yain Yotzosei. This is what he says. I will go back to the. This is what it says. Chamer v'chayel l'pum in the rabbonon. Chayy says in the brackets that Semach Tzedek is Tera, which is called Chayim, like it says Chayim Shom. And like the Gemara says, who wants life, he should come learn Teda. Like it's explained many times. And Arich Yomri says by Teda, it says Teda is Erech Yomim, and it makes you live long. It says, Ki Chayecho Erech Yomech. So Teda is Chaye. So it should be like wine. That's Megala, the premise. It should be a higher level of eating. What's the connection of this Maimon to put in? Why was it put in to the surface of the Teda air? I'm not sure. But could be Pshat is that the, 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 what we ask on Purim, it should be a higher level of eating, a higher level of not having to struggle with the darkness of the world, but it should be the higher level where you get directly the good, like the baby gets from its mother the good. So this is what we say, that it should be that even when we eat with the mouth, when we're separate, we're not fetuses, we're not totally bottled, and, and call on fetus amalchus, we should also have, it should be like the good wine, and it should be, we should get the secrets of the Torah. Maybe this is the connection. We all know what the Rebbe said, 
when Rabbe killed Rabzeira, when he said Lachaim and Purim, it means he revealed them great secrets of the Torah. So we hope that it should be such a learning and such a connection to the Rebishtas, they're learning to see this. But you don't have the negativity of the world. The Gemara says, when you learn the Talmud, your ego could grow, and there could be tzorahs, and you have to work hard on yourself not to have an ego. But by Chassidus, there is no ego. You're both of the Rebishta. So we ask, even when we're in Mitzis, we're learning Teda, it should be the right way, and we shouldn't be affected by any negative forces. L'chaim for finishing the Maimorim of the end of Teda Ed. Ich schaffe es, der Ehre,